Today on Mike Attempts, Lawn Mower Tune-Up. My mower is still starting easy and running good, but it's overdue for a tune-up. Look up the serial number of the engine, not the mower, to be sure you're getting the correct tune-up parts. My air filter is located under this cover. When turning a mower on its side, you always want the filter to be facing up. Otherwise, there's a good chance it'll get soaked with gasoline from the carburetor. Position your catch pan, remove the oil cap, and tip the mower on its side. The engine doesn't hold much oil, so it should drain quickly. Tip the mower back over, put the oil cap on, and disconnect the spark plug wire before removing the blade. If you would prefer to drain your oil from the bottom, it should have a drain plug like this one. Use your shoe to hold the blade still while removing the bolt. Since I only have one blade to sharpen, I'm just going to use a file. You can hold the blade steady in a vise or clamp it to the edge of your workbench. You only want to file the beveled edge. Try to keep the same angle. A bench grinder or an angle grinder would also work well, but if you're not careful, they can remove too much metal. Be careful when using the file too, or you'll be cleaning blood off your newly sharpened blade. When you think you're done with one side, you can run the file almost flat against the back of the blade to remove any burrs. Flip the blade around and sharpen the other end. You're probably not going to be slicing tomatoes with this thing, so there's no need for a fine edge. Hang the sharpened blade on a nail to be sure it's balanced. Reinstall the blade and tip the mower upright. Add the recommended amount and type of oil, which is usually SAE 30 or 10W30. My mower only holds about two thirds of a quart, so be careful not to overfill. Next, remove the old spark plug. Set the new spark plug to the recommended gap. For me, it's 0 0.02. If the gap is too big, press the end of the plug down onto a firm surface. If you need to increase the gap, you can use the hole in the gap tool to gently pry up on the ground electrode. Install the new spark plug and reattach the cable. Remove the cover and lift out the old air filter. This pre-filter is so old that sections of it just crumble into dust. Clean the filter area, trying not to let any dirt fall down the hole. Install the new air filter and replace the cover.
If your miller has any grease fittings, fill them up until grease starts coming out of the sides and clean off any excess. See the description below for the parts and tools I used. Feel free to rate this video, add your comments and questions below, and subscribe for more.